Why would you not want to move to Richardson, Texas? Big question. We'll get into it here in a second. I'm Todd Tremonti, real estate broker, homeowner, business owner right here in Richardson, Texas. Uh, lived and worked and loved this community for a long, long time. But there are some folks that choose not to move here for whatever reason. There's, there's about three primary reasons. There are others. But the three that we hear most often from our clients or prospects that are moving here from outside of the market or from other parts of the Dallas-Fort Worth community on why they would not want to be in Richardson, Texas. Probably the biggest one is nightlife and, and sort of a city energy. Now, the positive side of that is kind of the peacefulness of a neighborhood community. But folks that are looking for nightlife and entertainment and lots of options after, say, 9 p.m. tend to say, Richardson doesn't have a whole lot of that. There is a downtown area, but it's certainly not like the downtown area of a really big city. There is more of a <clears throat> small restaurant and shop feel to downtown Richardson than clubs and bars and music and galleries and things like that. Um, but, you know, for, for just about any negative in Richardson, there are tons of positives. Obviously, we love it. We live here and work here. There is a great art scene here relative to the size of our community, but it's not the type of place that a lot of people would say, we moved here specifically for that, right? So the complaints we will see really up and down the, the age range um, is, hey, Richardson seems like a great place to live, but as far as options for entertainment, nightlife, fun, adventure, people coming to town, places I really want to go show them for a night out, not as much of that exists here in the Richardson community. We may come back to that a little bit later in the video. Number two, there's a unique aspect of Richardson that, again, for a long time has been viewed as a positive because of the location, but more and more has become a, a complaint for some. And that is that when you move to Richardson, you're going to get for the most part, a traditional ranch style, single story brick home that is not all that architecturally unique. And you're gonna pay a little bit more for that home in Richardson than you are in some surrounding communities. Now, logically speaking, there are reasons for that. And those reasons are huge positives of being in the community. Location, proximity to Dallas, proximity to major highways and healthcare, restaurants and jobs and all those things. But if you're not as concerned with the reasons for it, you might view that as a negative. Same exact house, same exact size, similar lot in some neighboring communities might be a little bit more affordable. Now, I'm a real estate broker. This is what we do. I could give you a hundred reasons for that, but without unpacking all of that, we do hear some people say, look, I'd rather just buy that same house a mile away, two miles away, 10 minutes away and save, you know, 10, 15, $20,000. Now, if you have questions about that, drop a comment. We can talk more about that later. Number three complaint we hear about the Richardson community, and it's not a real widespread complaint, but it's growing. We do have a rather large college here in Richardson. It's the University of Texas at Dallas. It's a very well-regarded academic institution. Lots of really cool aspects. Check out some other videos on our channel about UTD. But because of the growth of UTD, there is a slightly larger rental community. College students, graduate students, renting homes in the neighborhoods around the campus. Now, I, you know, I haven't heard any real momentum of complaints of, you know, raucous parties and sort of that college stereotype. But some of these neighborhoods that have been traditionally, you know, 95 plus percent homeowners, um, the percentage of renters has gone up a bit. Again, these are generally speaking you know, sound, solid, responsible college students. So it's not like, you know, Animal House in the neighborhoods around the school, but there are some folks in those neighborhoods that are a little bit concerned that the percentage of renter, renters has gone up, that they're not maintaining those homes quite like a homeowner would, and that they're coming and going, you know, at a college student hours, as opposed to a traditional family or, you know, a longtime homeowner vibe. So those are kind of the three most popular. If you're still with us, those are not major complaints. <laughs> they just really aren't. If you're looking for nightlife, five minutes up or down the road, you can find a bunch of it. Uh, if you're looking for affordable housing relative to what you get in this community, uh, cost of living here is excellent. Uh, and if you're worried about uh, percentage of ownership versus renting, our home ownership percentage is still extraordinarily high. 
And we still have a lot of original homeowners from the 60s and 70s because people move here and they just don't want to leave. There are other reasons that people may not love Richardson. There's reasons for that everywhere. Generally speaking, people love this community and want to live here. So if you're thinking about making a move here or if one of those reasons rings true for you and you're wondering where else you could find a lot of the positives, but eliminate some of those negatives, drop a comment. We'd be glad to help. Contact information is below the video. We run a real estate brokerage right here in real estate, Texas, and right here in Richardson, Texas. Love living and working in the area and would love to share that with you. I'll talk to you on the next video.